Hi, and welcome to Exploring Computer Science. I'm Ms. Clark, and I will be your teacher for this class. I want to go over the course resources and some other things on the, on the message board here for you. And if you will, please, please, please listen carefully because there's going to be five short questions that come up after this video, and it's going to be really easy hundred to start you off with so you can get off on the right foot. All right, so this is our message board. And here's our course resources. Um, I want you to know that all quick checks are open lesson. You can either print the quick check and find the answers and then enter the answers when you're finished. Or you can have two windows open at once and enter the answers as you go. What you may not do is print the quick check, write the answers, and then send me a photo of the answers. They have to go into the computer. Also, please disregard the required information, uh, required materials information. You do not need Microsoft Office. Uh, you can use free Google apps. Um, I'm going to do videos that explain how to do things in video app, in, uh, in Google apps, and they will be extremely simple, and there's just no need to purchase anything. The grading policy is that you can redo portfolios and resubmit them for a better grade. Um, test points can be earned back, which you don't have any tests in this class, but quick checks are not eligible for retakes. They are all open book, open notes. Um, actually, y'all, there's no book for this class. It's all lessons. So um, you can have open lesson. You don't need to look for a book or take notes or anything. You can open the lesson and take your quick checks. Um, if you have 100 on your portfolio, and you need extra credit, you can ask me for extra credit, and I will um, give you something to do. Participation grade points and other extra credit may be earned by attending live lesson or calling me. Um, I put live, uh, put extra credit opportunities to earn to be earned through live lesson or telephone calls on your planner or in your grade book, so that you'll know when those opportunities are available. Um, keep an eye out for those because they're really easy, quick ways to earn um, some extra credit. Okay, so here's your modifications. All of these are dropped. You have one portfolio for this class. That portfolio counts 85% of your grade. You cannot pass this class. It is completely impossible, mathematically impossible to pass this class without passing the portfolio. It's extremely simple and I've modified it. So here's what you have to do. It is a five slide presentation on any school appropriate subject of your choice. I've had people do portfolios, um, presentations on everything from K-pop groups to video games, to origami, to the five cars they would most like to own, um, the five cities they'd most like to live in, um, their top five TV shows, the characters from a TV show, how to cook something, how to take care of goats, how to take care of chickens, just the possibilities are endless. Something that you're interested in, five slides, um, and it needs a design theme, images on at least three of the slides, and here's videos that are less than five minutes long that will go over how to do every one of those things using Google Apps. Um, if you don't have an account, let me know and I will send you a blank Google Slides portfolio to use. You can just use it and it'll be on my account and I can grade it from there. Do not be intimidated by this portfolio. It's extremely simple and um, I'm going to harass you about it because everybody can pass this class with a really good grade. Live lessons for my class are not structured and you only need to attend if you're invited or if you have a question, um, if you need help, something like that. If you get stuck on that portfolio, feel free to call me. Um, or attend live lesson on Fridays from 1 to 2. Um, I probably will have a live lesson to do the portfolio together with students who have trouble, um, but that probably will be not at 
on Friday from one to two, it'll probably be a different time. And um, I will send out invites for those who have not turned in the portfolio and might need to come. Again, extra credit is only available after you've completed your portfolio to 100. And you can send me a web mail and I'll send you um, extra credit for the appropriate unit. Here's my contact information. You can web mail me or call me. Um, I'm here 7.30 to 3.30, Monday through Friday. You can text me at other hours, y'all. I don't mean at 1 or 2 in the morning, please. Please, nothing after 11 um, or before 6. But um, you're welcome to um, text me if you have a problem, and I will try to answer as best I can. I can just about tell you that I get up about 7, and even if you do text me at 6, I'm not going to answer you till about 7 or 7.30. So um, I'm just saying if you need me after hours, um, anytime up through 11, you can probably reach me. And this is Pearson Live Tutor. They... Um, have some services that they can help you with a, a little later hours than I than I work um, and feel free to use that if you think that it will help you. Um, if you have any questions or are concerned about anything, if you are intimidated by this portfolio, anything you need, please give me a call or send me a web mail. This is a really simple class and I want you to do great in it. So um, answer these five questions and get your first awesome grade. Thanks.